Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be another spread in my mini happy planner. This is going to be me figuring out how I want to put the Fly Lady cleaning program into my mini happy planner. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Okay, so I'm going to be using my mini happy planner which has my meal planning in it and it also has like three different tab sections. One is going to be meal planning, another is going to be like a cleaning section and I'm not really quite sure what the third is going to be, maybe like a reading section. I'm going to be using this Energel Clena pen. This is the point three. I love this pen right now. It has a super fine tip which is what I like having in my Bujo planner, well meal, mini hip planner which is kind of in the Bujo style. I'm going to be using this, just a regular kind of ruler. I have the mini happy planner, and then I'm going to be pulling in some stickers from this all-in-one seasonal sticker book. This is one of their like ginormous ones. All right, so I'm going to flip. So this first section is my meal planning section, and then I am going to flip to this next section right here and I'm going to leave this page blank. Maybe I'll use it as a title page at some point. And I'm going to be using a two page spread for this. So I'm going to pull out these sheets just so it's easier to work with. I have been looking for a cleaning schedule and I found the Fly Lady cleaning method. She is on Facebook, she has an email list, and she also has an app which I have been looking at. This is what the app is. It's just called Fly Lady Plus. Down here, there are like your routines. This is a zone cleaning section or a cleaning routine. So there are different zones and then you can put in your calendar. There's a timer. This is a great thing to reference, but I definitely do better with pen and paper. So I am going to take aspects of that and I'm going to put it into a planner. I am going to do two sets of a two page spread. So this is gonna be the first two page spread and then I will have a later video with some other things that I wanna put in another two page spread. To start off on this side, I'm going to put a map of our house and I'm going to write down the zones over here and then what is in each zone. And on this side, I'm going to be writing down all of my daily routines that come with the Fly Lady program. So there'll be a morning routine, an afternoon routine, and then a before bed routine. All right, just to jump right in, I'm actually going to turn it this way and the map of my house is going to be on this left side here and then on this right side is going to be where the zone writing is going to be. I'm actually gonna zoom you in even more because the paper is like this. I can zoom you in further. So I did some measuring of my house and I wrote down the measurements and then I kind of created a to scale map type thing of my house. So I'm going to go, let's go down a little bit. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's go down seven. I'm gonna start the map here. I'm going to actually up top, it's just gonna say zone cleaning and I'm going to be using some mild liners just to add a little bit of color. Everything is mapped out. I'm going to label everything and then I will be able to color code kind of which areas are going to be on which days. So this big old area right here is the living room. 
Also, I was going to put little like door swings into all the rooms, but then I forgot and I really don't want to put white out on it. So living room, this is the master bedroom. So with the fly lady schedule, you do different rooms or in different zones and you, you deep clean them on different days. This is Ava's room and this is Natalie. And then the bathroom. And these are three, these three things right here are closets. I don't think I'm going to label them just because I don't think I'll be able to like write in some of the small areas. But this is the dining room. And this is the kitchen. And then I'm actually just for sake of the drawing, this is the entryway right here front closet and then the back porch is this way I'm probably just gonna do we have a back slider off the back so I'm just gonna add this right here because one of the zone areas is actually like your porches so we have a little front porch area and we also have like a back porch deck big area back out there so this is step one so then after I put down the zones over here, I will go back through and color in the different sections with the color that coordinates with the zone. So then over on this side, I'm going to be doing some boxes to have the different zones. There are five different zones, so I will do five boxes. And then they will be 10 by 10, two up top, and then two more, and then a fifth one on the bottom. And then I will be right back afterwards and I will fill in and kind of explain a little bit. Okay, now that I have the five boxes for the five zones, I am going to go ahead and kind of cordon off the top of each box. This is going to be, the first two lines of the box are going to be where I put the color that is going to be then assigned over here. So I would do maybe like blue and then red and then maybe orange or pink or green and then choosing different colors for each zone so they can coordinate with the house. This is really just for me, this is a visual representation of kind of how the house is gonna be sectioned off. In this planner, I will probably keep like in our kitchen or dining room or living room somewhere that's more central to the house so I can look back over it. Like say today is zone one, I can go to here and say, I have this, this, and this that I need to do today and kind of know in my mind how to section off my time for the different sections. So then each zone actually, for the most part, only has three like main areas. So I'm going to put just this little flag in the corner here. And I'm just going to freehand it the first time to see how I like it. But I think I'm going to come down like that and then go up and down and make just a little flag and I'm going to put the number of the zone so this one is going to be zone one and then I will do that for the other five boxes different zones have different areas of the house in them. I think starting right underneath here, let's see, one, two, three, I think I should be able to put three bullet points. So zone one is going to be, and I kind of tailored this a little bit to myself, so I only, I changed like maybe one or two things, but for the most part, this is the system, front and back porch is the first thing in zone one. And then the entryway, actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna put a bullet point up here. The entry is another thing in zone one. And then the bigger thing for me is actually the dining room. Our dining room tends to be like a dump spot. 
a table and we have uh, like a credenza type thing in there as well. So that's zone one. Zone two is, again, I think I'm going to utilize a little bit up here just so I have more room. But the front closet, which for us is where it's kind of like um, a spot where all of the kids' school stuff goes, their backpacks, their shoes, their folders, their lunch bags, all that fun stuff. The kitchen, which is a big one, that's the main area for us. We use the kitchen a lot, which means we have a lot of dirty dishes, which are my least favorite thing to do. In the pantry. Our pantry is um, separate. We actually took um, a closet and made it into a pantry, and I love it now. My husband made a barn door for it, which is phenomenal, and it's like a barn door red, which I love. So, zone three. Oh, let's see. The bathroom which actually isn't too bad. My girls are pretty good about keeping it clean. So that's not as bad as you would expect. The big one, Ava's room in her closet. She is seven and a half going on eight. So she's pretty good at keeping her room clean. However, the deep cleaning definitely has to be done by me because it just doesn't get done for her in the basement. We actually have a full size basement and it tends to get really messy because the girls spend a, a lot of time down there. Zone four is going to be two kind of bigger areas instead of three. It's actually only going to have two, but it is going to be Natalie's room and closet. She's got a smaller room, but because it's smaller, she tends to like shove things in little nooks and crannies. It doesn't help the cleanliness of her room and then the master bedroom and closet so two bigger areas on this day but that's okay instead of three smaller ones two bigger ones and then zone five is hopefully I've been writing in screen this whole time I don't really know I'm really bad about that zone five is the living room which is our main space that we hang out in. The linen closet, which is right off the living room. And our landing. Our landing to go down to the basement is a catch-all. If something has to go downstairs, I tend to just put it on the landing and then I'm like, next time I go downstairs, I'll take it down with me. And then it just sits there. So this is kind of the basis of what it's gonna look like. The next thing I'm going to do is just kind of pencil in over here. Um, it's going to say zone cleaning and I'm going to use a mild liner to kind of make that a little pretty because this is very like sparse and I kind of want to add in some pops of color. So I'm going to put mild liner here, mild liner in all of those spots, different colors. And then I'm going to coordinate and put the color over here as well. I'm going to do the heading over here and I will be right back. So it didn't turn out exactly how I wanted. I got a little hesitant on what I was doing. So I went over with pencil first and actually like how the zone part turned out, but then the cleaning part, meh, I could take it or leave it. I forgot that I probably should have done the mild liner first so it didn't smear as much, but that's okay. I then went over the mild liner with pen just to kind of make it stand out a little bit more when this stops being wet and like dries a little bit more I will go through and I will erase the pencil and it'll look a lot more clean but actually now that I look at it more I actually don't mind it too much so 
The other thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take a couple different colors, put them over here on the top, and I think I'm actually going to accessorize maybe just a little bit. That sounds really funny, accessorizing a spread with stickers, but I'm going to add a little bit of decorative element maybe to these corners. I'm not really quite sure. I might. So I am going to use these five colors of mild liners. I have been loving these lately. Um, I got this one in a pack of 15. They do come in smaller packs of five and they have, I think, maybe 25 to 30 colors. They're pretty well priced, but I really, really like them. I like that it has this tip right here that's kind of more of like a highlighter tip. And then on the other side, it has more of like a pen tip. So I really like the duality of them. Um, there's a link in my bio below if you are interested. I plan on picking some more up, up off of Amazon. So I'm going to use these five colors and I'm going to go ahead and assign a color to each zone. And then after I'm done with this, I will go over to this part over here and I will color in that one. Okay, so that is how it turned out, and I really actually like it. After I did this little front area with the pink where it smeared just a little bit, all the other colors didn't really smear at all, so it wasn't an issue. But it looks like the purple is like the majority, but this is actually one big room, and this is a hallway over here, so it's not that big a deal. But I really like how it turned out. I like kind of how it's divided up, and you can see that like this is one day, this is one day, and it just kind of makes it more easy for me to figure out kind of where I'm going to be working for the day when it comes to cleaning. So this is the all in one season big happy planner sticker book and I'm just going to pull a couple little stickers from the back and just add a little bit of decorative element. I'm going to pull in this like clear sticker right here and I'm going to put this in the corner over there and I'm going to pull another one in and I'm going to put it in the opposite corner. And I don't really know if I'm going to add any other stickers to this side of the spread. On the other side, I might add some more, but I think I just want, I'm going to put this guy up here. So, on to the next page. So this is page one, done, and then I'm going to pull this. It will sit like this in my planner, but um, the way I'm going to do it is I'm actually going to do them both like this. And so when I open it up, I can just look at it like this. So page one, done. Then into page two. So this page is going to be kind of the routine part of Fly Lady. The routine part kind of consists of something that you're supposed to do in the morning, something that you're supposed to do, well, a list of stuff you're supposed to do in the afternoon, and then a list of stuff you're supposed to do before bed. And it's something that you're supposed to do every single day just to make it consistent. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit. So I kind of wrote down um, a quick little hodgepodge here on another sheet of paper of what exactly is in each routine. I'm going to make it a little bit nicer and easier for me to follow here and then it'll be something that I'm thinking about actually writing everything down and then possibly um, laminating it so that way every single day I can come and I can check it off. I actually have one of the Happy Planner hole punches so if I laminate this sheet and then cut it to size, I can then punch it, laminate it, and then use it that way. So I think that's actually how I'm going to be utilizing it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to utilize this again. Let me zoom out and show you. This is just the stencil that I used in a previous video. This is actually a Happy Planner stencil that comes in a pack, and I'm going to be using this one right down here. Alright, 
so that is what I have right now so each section is going to be this one is going to be the morning routine this one will be the kind of afternoon and then the next one will be the before bed one this part of the system is what I'm actually really excited about is because I really need to get into some good routines about kind of what I'm doing throughout the day it's so easy for me to just get lazy and to not doing anything Okay, so I think I'm going to use this other stencil that came in this pack as well. There are these check boxes over here, and I think I'm going to use this part um, for when every day I go ahead and mark it off, and then I can just erase it if I laminate it. It's a lot easier, and I actually have a spot that I have to mark off. So I think I'm going to go ahead and use this. Um, the morning one has seven things to check off. This one has, the middle one has five, and I think this one has six. So three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven little like square bullet points in here so I think I'm going to go ahead and use this to mark off kind of where I'm going to be writing everything down to the title words this is going to be the morning routine this is the afternoon routine and this one is going to be the before bed routine I think I'm going to use the same font that I did on the other side just to make it kind of cohesive so I'm going to write oh I might be writing too big let's see oh that's not too bad and then I'm going to have to, for this one, afternoon won't fit, so I'm going to have to kind of split it up just a little bit, which is fine. And this one is before bed. And then I'm actually going to do the cursive font behind it again with the mild liners just to kind of make it a cohesive spread. Pretty sure I just said that, but... That's a little bit bigger of a font over there. When I go over it with pen, I might change that up a second. Or maybe I'll just leave it. It doesn't have to be perfect. So then I'm going to go over it with pen really quick. You know what I just thought of? Of course, I had said that I was going to do the mild liner first, <laughs> so it wouldn't smear. So I did part pen, so now I'm actually going to go back and I'm going to go over it with pencil and mild liner first, and I'm just going to do this. Now we're going to keep going with our pen and see how this kind of turns out. I think I'm actually going to leave it so there is no pen. Oops, I used the wrong thickness. I think I'm using this one. There we go. Yeah, this is my favorite pen currently. This is an Energel Klena. This one is the .5. I've been using the point. Looks like I used the .3 down here for the checklist, but... It has been my favorite pen lately. I have it in the .3, the .5, I have it in .4, and it's a blue color, and it is phenomenal. I actually think I'm going to get a couple more because I love them so, so much. I learned about them from one of my favorite shop owners. She used them in a video, and I loved them, so I was like, hey, let's try this out, and lo and behold, I like them too. They're actually pretty cheap when it comes to like a kind of a specialty pen i think this one i got for like four dollars three dollars something like that which is actually pretty good i think they might be a little bit more expensive on amazon but i got mine off of off of jet pens so i actually don't mind how that looks eventually i'm going to erase all the pencil marks and it'll look much better so then i need to go in with 
this straight edge and go over this with pen and then after this I will be writing in the different schedules. You know a lot of people think that you know what I'm doing is just extra work when I could just write it down and have it be a list and, and then just be done with it and then just do it. But part of the reason why I like planning well, a big part of the reason, probably the main part of the reason. I like to be organized, of course. But a big part of the reason why I like planning in so many different styles and I spend so much time doing it and I want to share it with all of you is because it is my creative outlet. Um, it is a way for me to have fun and to just kind of relax. I used to be really big into scrapbooking. And I found that planning is just another way to kind of scrapbook your life. And I have my girls go through my planners and, you know, they look back on events and it's a really good way, like, if, for an example, last year we got really sick and it must have been in, like, February or March and my mom needed to know for some reason when that was, when we were sick last and I could not have told her when. Well, I was able to look back in my planner for 2019 and find the exact date that we had all gotten sick. And she was able to use that information. And it's, it's stuff like that that I'm like, oh, well, it's awesome to look back on. But it actually kind of has a practical purpose, too. All right, so into the actual checklist area. So morning routine with Fly Lady has a bunch of different things. I think I took all of them, and I'm going to incorporate it into mine. First one is make your bed, which I'm mm, maybe 50-50 with making my bed. Not the greatest, not the worst. Next is to get dressed, and they had some other terminology, like I think it said get dressed all the way to your shoes or something like that. I'm just going to simplify it and say get dressed. The next one I didn't really know what it was, so I had to look it up when I was doing this system. It's called Swish and Swipe. So this is essentially cleaning your bathroom, taking one minute in the morning and like keeping your bathroom cleaner in your bathroom if at all possible if your kids are old enough if not just having it handy and going through and wiping down all of your surfaces in your bathroom every single morning not taking more than an hour just really quickly grabbing a rag getting your mirror getting your countertop and then taking your toilet brush cleaner toilet bowl scrubber and quickly doing a quick pass over your toilet maybe with just a little bit of like hand soap or something and just getting it clean getting the grime off and starting your day well. That way your bathroom starts smelling fresh and it's a really good start to the day. I really, really liked this one. I didn't quite understand it at first, but once I did, I was like, oh, that kind of makes sense. I really like that. So next one is eat breakfast. This is one that I'm actually really bad about. I, I don't know. I just don't really get hungry in the morning. I know that you're supposed to start off with a good breakfast every single morning and I just don't really do it. So I really got to get on that one. So, the next one is empty your dishwasher. This is a routine that I've started getting into, where you run your dishwasher at night, you consistently fill it up during the day, you run it at night, and then when you get up in the morning, first thing, you empty it. So you have a completely empty dishwasher and ready to go and put the dishes in for the next day. Next one is start laundry. Um, now that the girls are in school, we do a lot more laundry. We have face masks to watch and we're being really good about cleaning their outfits every single day and reusing towels once after they get out of school and just a lot more laundry is being done because they are face to face now and we're trying to you know have some precautions at home too so every single morning you are supposed to start a load of laundry grab all your laundry get it going first thing so it washes throughout the day and you have no excuse and the last one this is another one that i really want to start incorporating is check your calendar First thing in the morning, get into your planner or your wall calendar, see what you have going on for the day and that you need to get ready for. So that's the morning routine. Afternoon is kind of like a late afternoon like checklist type thing. The first one is, what's, it says on the thing, what's for dinner, but for me, I'm just going to put dinner plans, start thinking about what's going to be for dinner so you're not scrounging. For us, we tend to eat. If we don't have anything planned, I'm just like, ah, let me just go grab something because I don't have anything planned. And so that's a good one for me. Make sure that you drink your water. I have been using a Starbucks tumbler. It's 24 ounces. And I've been trying my best to fill it up three times a day 
to make sure that I get my water for the day. Another good one I thought was declutter for 15 minutes. Our hot spots or our areas that get really cluttered easily is our dining room table, which is really bad, our landing to our basement, and and kind of, we have like a countertop that kind of collects stuff. The next one is reboot your laundry, so make sure that you are moving your laundry over so it's going to be ready to go and be picked up later on, make sure that it's dried. And then the last one, this is one that I might have a hard time with, is 15 minutes of movement. For me, it's a little bit harder because we have a puppy at home and I I either have to take her with me for like a walk or um, I have to crate her if I leave because she's been on this tear of chewing stuff lately. Um, so if I want to take like a 15 minute walk, I could, but then I have to be wary of the puppy. But... I think I might be doing 15 minutes of movement as yoga. I might just like get on YouTube and try to find like a yoga video and make sure that I'm just like moving for 15 minutes. But I thought that was a really good one to add in there. And then before bed, on the list is to check your calendar. And also, I think what I'm gonna do actually, it says check your calendar and check the forecast. I think I'm going to make it two separate bullet points and I'm going to just add another square at the bottom. So it's a good idea to see what you have going on for the next day and also to see what the weather's going to be like so when you like get your kids clothes ready for the next day or your own that you know exactly what you should be wearing. The next one is to pick out tomorrow's clothes. I don't know how good I'm going to be at this one either, but I'm willing to try. Next one is two minutes on a hot spot. A hot spot is like a place that tends to get dirty quickly. Like for some people, it's like their nightstand right next to their bed. It just kind of becomes a catch-all. Or maybe it's like a drawer that maybe you could take two minutes just to clean up. Or maybe it's like for us, it's our landing to our basement. Two minutes just to take care of a few things and to kind of declutter that area. But So you do that every single night. The next one is to shine your sink. So this whole philosophy, what really kind of drew me to it was... Um, you go to bed with a clean sink, which I'm really, really bad about. It, there might not be many dishes in the sink, but I'm really bad about making it completely empty. And then you're, and then the whole philosophy is, is to clean it. So my husband definitely just interrupted me. <laughs> he called while I was filming, so that's always fun. Anyways, shine sink. Definitely on the list. Something that I'm really bad about cleaning it. You're supposed to like you know put sink cleaner in there and make it shine I have a white sink so that's always fun I really have to try to find a cleaner that helps me clean that even better because it's a little rough and then this one is the next one is this is much longer but I kind of condensed it into wash your face brush your teeth and shower take care of yourself give yourself a little pampering Make sure that, you know, you go to bed in a good mindset. I'm really bad about that too, so. And then I'm going to add in one more square here at the bottom. And the last one, which I'm also not the best at, is bed at a decent hour. I actually went to bed about 9.30 last night, but that's not the norm. Norm for us is like past 11. Okay, so that's what it's looking like right now. Like I said, I think I'm going to laminate this, and that way I can check these off every single day when I do them, and then just erase it at the end of the day, and I can start fresh. I think I'm going to add, it's a little bit bare, so I think I'm going to add a couple stickers down here at the bottom.
Okay, so this is what both of them ended up looking like. I still have to go in here and erase this pencil, but I'm going to let this dry a little bit more before I do that. I just don't want it to smear at all. But this is how it will end up looking in my planner when I put it in. I did it so instead of being upright, I can open it like this. Again, I think I might... I might even laminate both sheets just so it looks the same, but I'm definitely going to be laminating this sheet so I can use it and be able to like check it off and actually utilize this, but I really like how it turned out. Um, I'm going to be having another video on a couple more things that have to go with the system that are going to be on the next couple pages, but yeah, zone cleaning fly lady. This is how my cleaning spread turned out. <sighs> Yeah, I'm actually really happy about this. I didn't really know how this would turn out, but it looks great. And I actually see myself utilizing this and sticking to the program, which is what I really need. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this, like, comment, hit the, hit the subscribe button if you want to see more content. I will definitely be doing more kind of Bujo style with some stickers and mod liners thrown in in this planner in the coming weeks and months because I'm really enjoying kind of the creative outlet that comes with this. So yeah, hope you enjoy the video. Hope you have an awesome day and I will talk to you guys all later. Bye.